All right, so let's get to it, man. Hey, man. So, here we go. Yo, 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 hey, man, check it, man. It's the check it man himself, Mr. ECEO, man, just tapping back in with you guys, man. So this segment here is gonna be the news segment, man, the news you can use. So, hey, man, guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share uh, our information. Uh, make sure you uh, basically share our videos because YouTube definitely ain't sharing them a lot of times. Uh, that's one of the big deals that's going on now. You have to share the information, guys, because uh, they're not doing what they used to do when it comes down to these pages. Just so at the end of the day, we have a lot of friends. We're all in the same circle. We talk and we're just trying to, hey man, that shorts is the thing that people are doing too. Just get your heads up. If you are in the game, man, make sure you do you some shorts and make sure you keep the platforms going, man, because this is an agenda where we're able to tell our story to our people, man. So, hey guys, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. But hey man, just wanna talk about a couple of things, man. Things that really I, I, I sit back, man, I think about, this is the news segment, so it'll be news you can use, man. Um, one of the big things that uh, I had on the list to talk about today was uh, the fact that Cardi B and Glorilla. Glorilla, uh, they have a thing where uh, they did the song tomorrow and they hope to jam it to us a nice song. But it's a nice, nice song. And, and, and I can tell you right now, guys, um, we um, we have to do our checks and balances. We gotta dot our I's, we gotta cross our T's when it comes down to these songs, man, because there are some guys, man, that got a song that's similar to it, and they're not trying to hear it, man. It's called Streets of the, of the West Bank New, these are New Orleans group streets on of the of the West Bank that New Orleans uh, raised. Well, I got a lot of partners down there. Shout out to GDP. Shout out to uh, Birdman. Shout out to all them boys down there, Master PKLC. All my people, Mr. Servo, man. I can keep going because I got this thing with New Orleans, man. But hey, man, I'm just going to tell you, man, them boys are serious about their music. They say we got to figure out a way to get paid from this Cardi B, uh, Glorilla. It's really Glorilla song, man. That tomorrow, it might be, I know y'all heard the song, but anyway, man, that's one of the things that i seen sticking and poking his head out that people, you know, uh, been tapping into. And it's crazy. But at the end of the day, something is happening, man. So, um, listen, man, Trill Talk, no Pill Talk, man, you something else, man. I looked on my page this week and seen where he had, uh, he called out uh, a list that had different people on it from Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine, from uh, Easy e to uh, Jerry Heller. Black, like he both of them, he had, uh, he even had uh, AD and Adam 22 on there from No Jumper when they was together. He had uh, Vlad and Boosie on there. And this list was something else to me because I'm like, man, you know, when you think about it, um, is there an exploitation going on or is it a thing where people just work well together? But it's, hey, where there's smoke, there's fire, man. And I can tell you something, if it's anything going on, trip talk, no pill talk, is tapping in and trying to figure it out. Uh, been that way, man, ever since I came into this game and watched this young dude. So, man, if you guys don't know who that is, go look at him. Trip talk, no pill talk, he wanted the Texas bloggers, man. He wanted the ones that really is putting it down for um, the movement of the music and he's, he's reporting on all thing so that's one of the things I've seen and it really stuck out to me this week um, what else did I see this week because I've seen a lot of different things but I'm just picking on the ones that's sticking out to me that I can think about oh 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 yeah yeah don't uh, Jenga Derrick's Jenga Derrick's Derrick uh, is doing a dinner um, he's hosting a dinner and um, this dinner is gonna be only invite only it's a thing where he's um, you know, uh, only certain people are going to be able to come. I'm going to give y'all an opportunity to be a part of it. Whoever comment on this post and it's something that sticks out to me that uh, if they want to come and join us in this event, I'll pay for their ticket to get into this event. Um, but it's, it's definitely going to be great food, and great people, entrepreneurs, people of uh, relevance uh, going to be at this place. And you know I bring people together. So at the end of the day, you've seen how many people I deal with, man. And, and I'm bringing some elite people. And they're going to be sitting, eating, talking, and sharing things with one another. And the food is going to be great because Derek has a restaurant. And it's in... Um, Culver City in Los Angeles. If you're ever out there, stop by. This by it's over uh, in the Culver City area. Very nice area. Um, I've been there several times. 
did different things uh, with Derek at his shop, and, and, and it's just, he's bringing that field to Texas, man. He's here in Dallas now, so make sure you guys uh, come in. Like I said, I'm bringing guests, whoever come in, and it's something I see that sticks out in the comments, I will literally get to them. I will inbox them. I will get on the comments, go to their YouTube page, find out who they are, and I will invite them and pay. You got to be here. You got to come to Dallas, though. If you want to come up and pull up, get in the comments. Let's do this, man. I want to bring you out and show you love, man. And thank you for supporting Boss Talk 101 and introduce you to some elite, elite people. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else, what else, what else going on, y'all. I'm so used to doing my lives and doing being in the studio. This, this is different for me. Um, I think it's um, the blue check, the blue check. Uh, LeBron James, Elon Musk has alluded to the fact that he might have brought his, like he paid for his blue check. Um, this blue check thing is getting ridiculous, man. When you start to look at how many people are. Uh, tripping about their checks, their blue checks. They rather have a blue check than a real check. I never understood that. So I'm about that real check. Uh, but I understand it, it solidifies people. But they have guys comment on this blue check thing. What do y'all think about where this blue check thing is going? How people are are you know whether it be they buying them or whether it be their their their. Uh, losing their page, losing them. There's, uh, now that people are buying them, are they going to lose them on Instagram? They buy the blue check now. Uh, you can pay for it monthly. Uh, what about when you can't afford to get it no more? Do you let it go back? Do people see you when you lose your blue check? Um, but Elon Musk is tripping off the blue checks. I don't know. I think they may be taking them away completely off Twitter. I don't know. But I can tell you right now, it's a thing where people are definitely trying to figure out what's going on with you as a person when it comes to the blue check, man. But hey, man, hey, hey, you either got it or you don't. You either that or you this or you not or you are. At the end of the day, it's funny to me how people, you know, uh, definitely uh, take that and make that uh, the, the, the thing, the going thing. But check it, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. All I can say is, man, we got to keep this thing going, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you get in the comments. Like and subscribe to our channel, man. I hope you like the new segment. This is going to be a new segment. It's going to be going down, man. Check it, man. Mr. Check it, man. Himself in the building. ECEO. Holla at your boy.